Hello everyone and welcome. So today we're going to be looking at some new bags for spring. Interested to see what I have picked? Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with the realm of life and style, you're gonna find right here on this channel. So before we go any further, if those are all things that you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and say hey down in the comments. We always have a fun dialogue and I love hearing your input and kind of like what you guys are buying, what you're into. It's just a fun space. So make sure you turn on the bell icon so that way you're notified when I post new content every week. Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. Central Time. And then follow me over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. I post a lot of stories over there, fun looks, whatnot, and it's a great way to stay in contact with me. So today, as promised, we're going to be looking at some designer bag picks for spring. Now, I wanted to do a set of designer bags and then a set of contemporary bags, and I didn't want to do that all in one video because that'd be a long video. So we're going to do it in two parts. So today, Sunday, we're doing the designer bags. And then on Wednesday, we're going to do the contemporary bags. Your coach, your, what do I have here? Mark Jacobs, Brandon Blackwood. It's going to be a fun time, I promise. Let's take a look at some new spring inventory. So when it comes to spring, spring is all about rebirth, what's new, what's fun, florals, how groundbreaking. Just kidding, I had to throw that in there. So this year, I want to pick like fun colors, fun, vibrant colors. The last few years have been a little, a little drab, if I do say so myself we've missed out on a lot lately and there's a lot of changes going on around us so this year I just want us to have fun be goofy and just really just explore color I've picked some really good bags so far for you guys of course I love Balenciaga that is no secret if you haven't already check out my Balenciaga playlist that'll be linked down below I love collecting Balenciaga old Balenciaga new Balenciaga Balenciaga I would love to add some clothing and ready to wear I just love Balenciaga it only makes sense that we would start out with Balenciaga <laughs> Balenciaga Balenciaga Balenciaga. The very first bag that I've chosen and I am so excited that they have done this. So they've given us the women's Neo Cajol excess handbag in yellow. So it's kind of like a fun acidy shade of yellow green. It's done in the arena lambskin so I think this is going to feel more like the city bags and the moto style that we're used to and they stuck the giant hardware on this bag you guys. So it's basically the Neo City meets the old city meets the Cajol. It's all the best stuff slammed into one bag and I am here for it. It is gorgeous. So this bag, it's it's a decent size. So it's going to be 10.2 inches in length, seven inches tall, and about four and a half inches deep. So that's a pretty good size bag. It's going to be able to be held by hand or go crossbody, throw it on the shoulder. You have all that really cool chunky hardware. And as Balenciaga always does, there are tons of grommets and holes to adjust the strap if you need to. It has that super cute heart on it that the Cajol comes with. Zane hates it, which is probably why I haven't bought one yet because I don't want to hear him gripe every time I carry it. I don't like a heart. He doesn't like a heart, what can you say? It also comes with a super cute kind of like coin purse card carrier on the outside as well. I think with this bag, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Now, Caleb, how much does this bag cost? She ain't cheap. She ain't cheap. You gotta take her out to dinner first. She's 2,090 USD before tax, of course. With a designer handbag, especially of that size and quality with that kind of name on it. I hate to say it and it sounds gross, but that's kind of a good deal these days. As awful as that sounds, I can't believe bags are over two grand these days. That's absolutely insane. But this bag is gorgeous and it has has all the hallmarks of the old city bags. You have the braided handle, the gorgeous hardware, the lambskin leather. Have I mentioned I love this bag? I mean, quite honestly. So Zane with maybe our anniversary or my birthday coming up, dropping a hint, a little bit, little one. Anyway, this bag is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's lined in leather. Mm, that's a lie, cotton canvas lining. Gorgeous, love the color, the models rocking it. It is, that is stunning. I absolutely love it. So sticking with this realm of bright, flashy, fun colors, let's head over to Louis Vuitton, shall we? All right, so the bag that I've picked from Louis Vuitton is none other than the absolutely gorgeous Sac Plat XS and the Torreon leather. Not just any Torreon leather. This one is done in the blue green. This is from Virgil Abloh. Iconic. This leather, it is, it's kind of a mind F, quite honestly. It just, it looks like it's moving, like it's growing. It's very organic. I love the colors. I love the thick silver hardware on there. Having had the Sac Plat in the past, like the actual full on Sac Plat, I would love a miniature size. This model is rocking it. It is such a gorgeous bag. I mean, that silver hardware is 
everything with this leather. It's it's mm, stunning. So this bag, let me give you a little bit of upfront history. So it's 6.3 inches in length. It'll be 7.7 .7 inches tall, 2.2 inches deep. So probably pretty similar to like my Coach Mini Cashin review down below. I think that's a great size. You can fit your phone in there, a small wallet, maybe like a lip balm, headphones, what you need to get around in the city for the day. And it is absolute perfection. So if you're not familiar with Torreon leather, it's like a very rich, thick, almost pebbled leather. And the color gradient that they've done on this bag is next to none. It is absolutely stunning. So this, it does come with a strap, which is removable, of course. So if you're interested in adding this one to your collection, again, she's not cheap. You're gonna have to take her to dinner and a movie in this instance. 2,710 before tax, and you can barely fit your phone in it. That's cool. Thank you, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Are we seeing a pattern here? I think inflation's getting a little out of control, just a little bit. Anyway, love, 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 love this bag. And if this found its way into my bag closet, I wouldn't be too upset. And Zane will probably steal it. That is a guarantee. So we've had our time in France. So let's head down to Italy, my absolute favorite country to visit. I love Northern Italy, Tuscany. <sighs> Can't wait to get back there again. And let's check out Fendi first. As you all know, we love Fendi on this channel as well. I only have two Fendi bags, two very lonely peekaboos. I'm hoping to add an older.com to my collection because I think they're super cute, super obscure, and would be right at home with my collection. It's just a cute little top handle. Anyway, I digress. We're talking about new bags, not bags discontinued. This is the Fendi, Fendi, Fendigraphy. I'm only gonna say it once, not gonna repeat that. Small, and I chose the pale pink. You know, on this channel, we love pink, we live for pink. It's one of my favorite colors. With the gold hardware on the bottom, it just pops against that pink. Pink is perfect for spring, summer. I think it even looks good in winter when it's nice and snowy out. This is the perfect shade of pink. It's nice and muted. Love the gold hardware, like I said, and I think this bag's really unique. And mark my words, not only are we going to see a return to bigger bags, we're also going to be seeing a return to hobos. So I've included a couple hobos here on this list, this uh, big list of spring bags, if you will. This one does not disappoint. We saw this all over the runway when they did the Antonio Lopez show recently for spring, summer. This show is perfection from start to finish, you guys. It is beautiful. I wept. I, I'm here for it. So this bag, it's a good size, but we're going to have to talk about it in metrics. Sorry, my American friends. I'm not very metric centric either. So bear with me. So the measurements are, we've got 24.5 inch centimeters in height, kind of like imagine a Speedy 25 or a Birkin 25 just on its side. There's the height. I measure in bags in my mind. Isn't that crazy? The depth is going to be 10 centimeters. It is 29 centimeters in length. I'm guessing from widest point to widest point because that is a big bag. And the strap drop is 18 centimeters. So you're easily going to get that over your shoulder. It's going to be super easy. I promise. It is fabric lined. So it's going to be easy to carry. And that hardware on the bottom, that is everything. Now, when you put it down, do you put it hardware side down first or do you put it up on its side? How are we going to take care of this hardware? Because I could imagine after a few seasons of carrying this bag, that gold Old, gorgeous Fendi on the bottom is going to start to show some silver, some nickel underneath. I'm wondering, how can we make that last? Would you just take it to a jeweler and have them gold dip it? Is that a thing? Anyway, you guys, I think Fendi is where it's at, especially this year. We have a lot of exciting pieces. The Antonio Lopez collection was absolutely stunning. He's one of my favorite fashion illustrators of all time, especially his work in like the 80s. Just perfection. I'm here for it. Now, staying in Italy, doing our thing down there, let's head over to Prada. I'm going to head over to Milan. Now, this bag, this is the Prada Clio brushed leather shoulder bag. And what color other than alabaster pink? I mean, hello, pink. Why not? And this bag is giving me all the 1990s fantasies. It is here and I'm here for it. So according to Prada, the Prada Clio bag with sophisticated allure reinterprets an iconic design of the brand from the 1990s. Sleek curved lines emphasized by the particular construction rounded on the bottom and sides give this hobo bag a soft light look. Okay, I agree, uh, whatever. So this bag is gorgeous. We have brushed leather, leather handle, silver metal hardware, that classic Prada triangle logo on the front. It is perfection. We also have a Prada logo nylon lining with the patch pocket on the inside. So you're gonna have some pockets to slide your phones into, Metro receipts, tickets, whatever. It's a good size again, but we're gonna have to talk about it in the metric scale. So it's 22 centimeters in height. It'll be six centimeters in length and then 27 centimeters in width. I'm thinking I'm thinking they mean six centimeters deep and then 27 centimeters wide is what I'm guessing. There's no way it's six centimeters wide. Gorgeous bag. This model looks great with it. It's a beautiful color. It is perfect for spring. I think this will easily transition you into summer through fall, through winter. You cannot go wrong with a dusty rose pink shade. It is perfection and 
For those of my friends here who like easy access, this bag just has a magnetic closure at the top. Super easy to get in and out of. I think this is going to carry you, like I said, all year long. This bag is perfect. So while we're in Italy, there's a brand that I have been very curious about lately, especially after we saw some beautiful examples on and just like that. And I saw some at my local Neiman Marcus, the Valentino. I mean, how have I slept on Valentino all this time? Oh, I know why. I got a little tired of seeing the rock studs everywhere, especially the shoes. Don't hate me, I said what I said. You can get them out again. I haven't seen a pair in a long time. Anyway, the bag that I've chosen today is the One Stud Napa bag with chain. And I'm gonna let you pick your own color because they come in some gorgeous shades. We have this beautiful shade of ultramarine green. There's a gorgeous purple, another acid yellow, white, which is great year round. I don't care who you are. You can wear white after Labor Day. It's not a thing anymore. Wear white through the winter. It looks fabulous. Just don't brush up against a salty car. Anyway, so the bag I chose, like I said, the One Stud Napa bag with chain. This bag is very versatile. You can wear it on the shoulder. You can wear it crossbody. I absolutely love it. It's the right size. Once we're going into the hotter months, you don't really want to carry a whole lot in your bag. Oh, they have inches on here. Thank you, Valentino. So it's going to be seven and a half inches in width, five and a half inches tall, and 4.3 inches deep. That's a pretty decent sized bag. You can definitely get like your Pro Max phones in there, your larger Samsungs, a good sized wallet. You're, you're gonna be good. Now, this bag is absolutely stunning. And of course it has a Napa leather lining with one flat pocket on the interior. The gorgeous one stud on the front. This this bag is a stunner. Like through and through, it is, it is absolutely gorgeous. We need to pick one more bag because I promised you six bags for spring. You're like, Caleb, where did you get six bags for spring? S P. R-I-N-G, spring six. Is it a stretch? I don't think so, I don't know. You tell me in the comments. So let's head over to Britain to a brand we don't talk about often. I, in fact, only have the one from the runway of 2012, Burberry. I, I like Burberry. I used to wear a lot of Burberry back in the day, the brightly colored polos with the, the Nova check here and the buttons. I still have them. They're not in my closet anymore. They're, they're nicely folded in, in our storage unit just because they're not my style anymore, but I still love them. That was a very special time in my life. However, I have been sleeping on Burberry just a tiny bit. I missed out on that gorgeous hobo in La Roca Village when we were in Spain last year. Anyway, that's beside the point. So the bag that I've selected is the small quilted lambskin Laola bag. Does he do any of you watch Big Mouth? Love that show. Anyway, the color I selected, if you can guess, is primrose pink, because pink, spring, hello, I'm groundbreaking. And I just think this is a super cute bag. I think a lot of people have been sleeping on Burberry. The quality's still there. It's still great quality. I just think the designs have gotten a little bit stale after Christopher left, but what can you do? Anyway, I love the hardware. It's just silver, gorgeous chain, the quilting on the front of the bag, the whole body of the bag, actually. You could easily carry it as a clutch. You could throw it over your shoulder, crossbody. It's a very utilitarian bag, even though it's primrose pink. And I just think it's super cute. So this bag, she's $2,090 before tax, just like our friend from Balenciaga, the Neo Cajol, Neo Cajol XS, yeah. Sounds right. Let's see what she's all about. So she is really hard to find details on their website. Oh, more details. That's about returns. Burberry, why is your website so horrible? Product details. You shouldn't have to do that much clicking for product details, Burberry. So if you're watching, I highly doubt you are, but if you're watching, please make your website more accessible. Thank you. Okay, so this bag, again, we've got some inches here, so I'm happy about that. Um, so it's gonna be 9.1 inches in length. It'll be 2.4 inches thick and about 5.1 inches tall. So she's a good size. This is a good size bag. It's 100% lambskin, both inside and out. The lining is a cotton linen blend, a 55-45 blend. So I don't know where I was going with that. Take that information as you will. Adjustable chain and lambskin shoulder straps so it does have the chain break, which is so nice, especially when you're wearing a crossbody in the summertime. You don't want the chains digging in. It's a whole thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. Made in Italy. Thank you, Burberry. Who knew? Super cute. All right, you guys. So that was part one of our six bag picks for spring. We covered our designer bags today. We looked at Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton. We looked at Fendi, Prada, Burberry, and Valentino. Six bags. What did you guys think of my picks? Were there any that you weren't a fan of? Are there any that you're planning on getting? Do you already have one of them? Let me know down in the comments. And make sure to come back next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Central Time to check out my contemporary designer collection selections. That's a mouthful. We're gonna be looking at Coach. I have a couple of Coach bags to show you guys. We're gonna look at Marc Jacobs. That's kind of a first on this channel, I think. And Brandon Blackwood who I would like to add to my collection super soon. He's got some cute stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And until Wednesday, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you then. All right, you guys, bye-bye.